you sure this is okay with your parents? I mean, they don't mind us using the caravan, do they? Not using the caravan. I was spending the weekend with Mark and Darren in Leamington. What you're doing? Oh, Jess, you didn't. What? Well, I've been honest with him. We would have just said no anyway. Well, yeah, but what's he going to say when he finds out you lied to him? Oh, relax. It's not like he's going to find out. It's not even official season on the site yet, so none of his little caravan buddies are going to see us, are they? What about the warden? Doesn't get here till April. Any more questions, Shafate? Which side of the bed do you want? This is really nice. I know. I don't want to go home. Me neither. What's all seas? <laughs> I like who? Your dad's caravan buddies. The warden. Just a little bunny. Hey, Sinead! Come here. What's up, Doc? You okay? <coughs> what brought that on? I don't know. Must have been something I ate. death toll of the myxomatosis epidemic is climbing into the thousands as the disease shows no signs of slowing down. Hospitals in Ireland are already filling up since the first case was announced in Belfast last night. The virus in rabbits is passed on by biting insects such as fleas and mosquitoes and this is also the case for this new human strain but its rapid spread across the country suggests that this mutation is also airborne. Like rabbit strain it can also take different courses. The chronic course can be recognized by localized or generalized swelling of mucous membranes and other tissue. This is most apparent at sites such as the conjunctiva, nose and genitals. The sufferers become feverish and after around four days begin to develop the lumpy nodules or myxomas that give the disease its name. It is unknown at this time how long it takes patients to die from the chronic course, but estimates are something between seven and ten days. Dublin is also
reporting cases, despite the measures taken to disinfect people entering the country. In Scotland, there has been a massive influx of people into the highlands from the cities. Motorways outside Glasgow and Edinburgh are completely gridlocked. Several people... There is evidence that the virus has mutated again. The British government has declared a national emergency. Hospital staff are dying in huge numbers. The whole country is in the grip of this rampant virus. The first case has been reported in Paris. After trying to fly to Melbourne, the royal family was refused entry by the Australian government. They are now stranded in Singapore. The virus is spreading the rapidly is making across its Europe. way across Italy, Europe. Spain, Italy, Greece, Spain, Germany, Greece, and Switzerland. Germany and Switzerland are among the infected nations. Hospitals are overwhelmed. All flights patients. in and out of Britain have been grounded. There is grounded. simply not enough vaccine. The government urges you to stay calm. Remain in your Remain homes. Remain in your homes. The virus has mutated again, rendering vaccines this useless. This is the worst disaster history has ever known. Escalating into a global pandemic. Do not panic. We urge you to stay calm and do not panic. This will be the last broadcast from this station. Thank you for staying with us. Emergency news information from this point will be given by the government via the radio. I'm David Pryde. Goodbye. <laughs>